Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad, uh, welcome to Radku Tarot, and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and uh, Taurus Rising weekly tarot reading for April 15th to April 21st, 2019. And uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for Taurus's star sign, and uh, for that reason, the reading is going to relate and resonate in a different, uh, two different things and in a different way with uh, every single different Taurus. So in this video I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards in their position and as well their synergy in the spread but should you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through uh, tarot and to tell you what is going to happen with it uh, in the future that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this, of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the uh, recorded reading services and $15 for the private call reading services. So that being said, going to the Taurus uh, weekly reading here, the first card, which is the topic of the Taurus this week, that is going to be the Seven of Pentacles, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the topic here, guys. That is going to be the Queen of Wands. Followed by the third card, which is the positive approach toward the topic, um, or what you should do regarding the Seven of Pentacles. This is going to be the uh, Moon card. And the last one, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Taro here, this is going to be the Eight of Cups. So once again, Seven of Pentacles is the topic, followed by the uh, Queen of Wands, which is the negative approach to the situation. Then what we do have, or to the topic itself, excuse me. Then it is the Moon card, which is the positive approach toward the uh, topic of the week. And finally, should you follow the, the advice of these couple of cards, that one as a guidance, as a um, final outcome of growth of the week manifests itself. That is the Eight of Cups. All right. So um, we have the general topic of the Seven of Pentacles. So this week, uh, you are going to be uh, standstill on the surface. Well, in worthy, uh, you are going to try to find the most efficient way for you to deal with either career or relationship. It does depend what, uh, what topic you are going to pick up for yourself. So pretty much the topic itself, or rather it's not the topic, but the situation itself, it will depend on what is substantial for you right now for throughout the week. 15 to 21st of April. But yeah, you're going to be um, on the surface seemingly standstill while in worthy, you will try to find the most efficient way, as I said, to uh, tackle with the situation. So you are going to be granted in generally a, a time to rest, meaning that the situation itself is not going to give you hard time, but it's not going to help you either. Now, uh, it's important as well to be acknowledged with the Seven of, of Pentacles that should you be patient enough, there will be quite of an um, uh, essential event that is going to happen. It's lurking, around, it's lurking excuse me, around the corner and that event probably is going to give you the means necessary in order to efficiently um, overcome either your plight situation or make breakthrough in general if this is what you are after. The accompanied card here that is going to be the 10 of pentacles. So the uh, formation is passive supporters of what we do have. And generally uh, by you um, adopting that kind of a stand where you will try to figure out the most effective way to deal with your situations, you are to become a lot more independent that you are in, uh, that you are while you are entering into the week, meaning that throughout this week, probably you will figure out, you know, how to uh, sever certain strings of dependency you do have with people. That could be someone that helps you, for example, uh, with your projected career, uh, but they demand of too big compensation. So this week, it is the week where you figure out a way how to sever those uh, 
helping ties without actually uh, hurting the performance you exert in the project itself. So it's kind of like a liberation, which actually the second card points uh, that is going to be the queen of wands here and as this is the thing that you should not do so uh, the queen of wands in this position points that you will really know who your friends are or you are gonna find out who your friends are with this uh, card in this position it means that you are to realize that there are people holding you back and even if it's gonna break your heart to leave these people behind to fall on those people especially if we're talking about career wise that is exactly what you do what you need to do because with the queen of wands your confidence in others is jeopardized. I mean, you're way too overconfident in others. You are giving them way too much exposure, for example. And as well, you are counting on others way too much. As we said here with these couple of cards that we do have, you need to reach as big independency as you can uh, regarding either your career or regarding either your relationship. Now, if this manifests, for example, regarding relationship, maybe there are common friends in between you and your husband let's say or wife or, or 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 a partner in general that are influencing the relationship way too much so you got you need to find a way how to sever those uh, those relationships to on an extent you know that these people no longer influence your environment in the way that they are deciding right now the rules in it the accompanied card of the Queen of Wands, this is going to be the uh, Four of Pentacles. So the formation here is active neutrals. And it seems that you are going to have a hard time, you know, believing in yourself. Self-confidence, as we said, is jeopardized here and the confidence in other people as well. As you are, uh, What I'm trying to say here is that you are placing more confidence into other or you are counting more than others uh, to others than counting to yourself Um primarily so with the four of pentacles here as a uh, uh, as a neutral card it does mean that you need to indulge deeper into yourself into your self sustainability and try to ensure a stable future of counting only on your personal blessings rather than to relay or rely on other people in general so meaning that you have to take more defensive approach of involving others into your endeavors, either career or either relationship-wise. Of course, uh, everybody faces a situation where they cannot just get by by doing it alone. You know, you can, you you need help. Okay, uh, these cards does not mean that you will have to face everything on your own, but as much independence as you obtain, that will be the better. Now, uh, the next card that we do have, which is the positive approach to the situation, that is the moon card. So the moon card in general represents insecurity, vagueness. Um, uh, how, how do you say it in English, guys? Being apprehensive as well, taking on a certain, uh, certain achievements or trying to go for certain achievements, that is. But the moon card does represent so, also something vital, especially when it is in a positive position. It does mean you should not deviate from the path that you have taken already. So uh, I do believe that you Tauruses throughout this week, you are to uh, find out why something big and substantial in your life isn't working, okay? So you are gonna find the reason why that thing isn't working. And this reason for the 99% of you is going to be into someone that is already involved into that thing, okay? And you will have to basically forlorn that person and everything is going to start to unfold for you. I mean, the insecurity will start becoming into uh, or start traversing itself into a, a security as well. The accompanied card of the moon, this is going to be the seven of wands. So the formation is a uh, passive enemies. And uh, with, uh, with the, well, it's difficult to explain the contribution that the Seven of Wands ends to, uh, adds to the Moon card. But basically, it does point that there is nothing awkward into the situation as the situation stands. It's, it's just, once again, that you um, misjudge the, uh, how do you, the involvement 
of uh, of peripheral people in it okay and and now you will have to find the right moment to uh to counter this or kind of like the right the right actions to to counter this the best actions that you can do with this uh with this formation here as a uh, passive enemies is really to take the undertaking very slowly and uh, try to put additional uh, additional analyze uh, analysis upon the situation itself now what is important here to be said with these couple of cards as well is that most likely there are going to be people who are talking behind your back but what we do have uh, what what kind of a sentence we do have into our country is the one who digs a grave in grace one falls. So those who are trying to talk behind your back and in general sabotage your work are most likely going to fall into their own personal trap as well. Now the thing however with the moon card and uh, as a follow-up to the previous cards it is likely that you are also going to find that efficient way throughout the week and you will start to incorporate that efficient way. Now the thing is with this with the nine of cups at the end which is the uh, final manifestation the outcome of growth is that a couple of things first of all you are to find out that currently until that point you did the majority of things in the wrong way or you could have done it better the good thing however with the with the eight of uh, cups into this position is that it is not too late to fix yourself so basically the card represents here that even though current situation is rather unsatisfiable for you in the grand scheme of things all right a new perspective emerges new perspective as a, a new way new option available to either uh, improve your relationship or to proceed further with your career it is just once again you have to liberate from those people and those influences that holds you back you will become aware at the very start of the week who that person is or who these people are and only comes to your determination to just you know confront them and tell them that you basically cannot move along any longer with uh, their presence around the accompanied card here that is going to be the seven of uh, swords formation it is a uh, passive neutrals and the good thing is that you ain't gonna feel bad about it with these um, with these couple of cards i mean the sev uh, the severance of those ties you do have with these people it is because deep down within yourself you will know that that was the right thing for you to do and if you want to chase a goal of yours only you being in charge can do so so uh, here in these couple of cards we also we also seeing uh, that the exterior um, uh, the exterior influence of those people is trying to um, overpower one another and uh, ultimately to overpower you uh, and in this uh, in this specific follow-up of a cards it seems that you are going to overpower everybody and uh, with the eight of cups and the seven of uh, swords at the end it seems as well that you will become much more um independent oriented in the sense of that you will no longer uh, allow um the people in general you know to take advantage of you or to uh, in not to take advantage of you but in generally to strive you off your goal with uh, temptation and uh, as well uh, with empty talk so you are going to start uh, obtaining bigger uh, bigger understanding of what of the fictions against the facts or rather you will be able to uh, scope very well what what statement is a fiction and what statement actually is a fact and what is achievable is achievable and what is not achievable as well so how hang on in there uh tourists it seems that this is going to be a, a week of insights a, a week where you are finally gonna find out what is wrong you know with your undertaking or with your agenda in general and the week itself is going to require strong determination for you to resolve that problem generally to say no to somebody or to say to somebody that you don't need them anymore or, or that they're uh, noxious to your uh, 
to your improvement in general. Uh, it may break your heart once again, you know, but that is a substantial thing you need to do in order to proceed forward with either your career or with either your relationship. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, as a general reading for Taurus star sign is going to uh, relate to different stuff and is going to resonate in a different way with every single different Taurus. But should you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to tell you what is going to happen with it uh, for, for its future, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.